In general and specialty practice every day, we're met with patients that have vague signs of illness or very specific signs of illness. And we often have to wonder, could this be related to an occult infection? This week's VetVine specialty update is from an article that was recently published in the Journal of Veterinary Internal Medicine. This paper looks at vector-borne diseases in ill dogs presenting for a variety of presentations. This study particularly is taking place in Southern California. However, the information is important for any clinician dealing with autoimmune diseases in an area where ticks are present. This article really brought to home a personal experience. Um, my own dog, last year we spent quite a bit of time in Northern California and he had really heavy tick exposure while we were down there. And when he came home, uh, several months down the road, uh, he developed polyarthritis. And um, I did a doxycycline course. He did actually initially improve uh, over a few days. It broke his fever and that sort of thing. But in the end, we suspected he had autoimmune polyarthritis. I, at the time, didn't even have Babesia on my radar. I certainly thought of Bartonella, which would be doxycycline responsive anaplasma or lichia, these other things. But um, in retrospect, I probably would have had a more positive outcome potentially if he um, was tested for Babesia. I don't know. Um, ultimately, he didn't make it through. Um, so, you know, that kind of hit home. And, uh, you know, we have to look at each individual patient when we're making these. Um, decisions based on their for their care. Um, but studies like this are nice to show us kind of, you know, what populations are doing. But again, uh, we need to be looking at the individual patient um, each time.